My name is Blessing Omaku Sharamakun. I am a lawyer by training, but I work in the public policy space. Um, and I'm also a writer. I write about women's rights and gender affairs. I heard about this program through two different WhatsApp broadcast messages. I applied for this program because I was seeking development as a public policy practitioner. And this, uh, this, the, the advertisement for this program said that there would be the chance to go to Cambridge and also to go to Parliament and learn about public policy. So for me, it was an amazing chance to learn about the public policy making process and also to make amazing connections that I don't think I would have gotten on my own otherwise. So interestingly, I applied for this program like the day of the deadline. Um, I applied very casually, not thinking that I would get it. And so I, it was very last minute. And I was very surprised when I got an email from the British Council saying that I had been selected as one of 12 finalists. And so um, after getting that email, we were told to prepare a policy pitch. We were told to prepare um, a five-minute presentation that articulated our public policy vision for the world and also a solution, a global policy solution. My experience in Abuja, um, the first day we got to meet each other and just getting to meet all the other Nigerians for me was just amazing because every single person I met was incredibly intelligent, uh, very engaged in their spaces. I met women who were engaged in financial terrorism. I met another women's rights and gender equality advocate, health practitioner. So for me, it was just amazing to meet young Nigerians like me who are passionate about public policy and who are already engaging in the field. So my experience in the UK, if I could use one word, it would be amazing or incredible. Um, in the UK, we had half of our time was spent in Cambridge at Cambridge University at the Mahler Center, where we had access to some of the most intelligent uh, experts on leadership in the world. We got to learn about leadership. Uh, we got to learn about things like design thinking and how to apply that to the public policy space. And then we spent the other half of our program in London, where we got to go to UK Parliament. We got to go to Number 10 Downing Street. We got to go to the BBC headquarters. So we went to different places, just learning about what it takes to be a public policy person, a public policy practitioner in this day and age that is changing so rapidly. Uh, for me, the highlight for, of this experience would definitely be the elders event. So on one of the days of the program, we got to work, uh, to walk with the elders. The elders are an independent global group comprised of people like Kofi Annan, Ban Ki-moon, Gro Brundtland, Grasa Michelle. And we got to walk with them for peace. And then I was selected to speak on a panel and for me, that experience, getting to share a stage with a Nobel Peace Prize winner, um, it's nothing that I could have ever imagined. So that would definitely be my highlight. I'm going to be starting a, a think tank on gender issues. And that came just solely from this program. Uh, I was challenged to do that and I've gotten a lot of ideas and connections. So I'm really excited about that moving forward. I would say if anybody's thinking about applying for this program, definitely apply. It's a life changing experience. Um, I have had access to places that I would never have had access to on my own. I mean, getting to go to number 10 Downing Streets, to go to Cambridge, to go to Parliament, to go to BBC, those are things that I could have never done on my own. And this was only the first program, so I can only imagine what it's going to look like next year and the years coming forward. So if you're thinking about this, definitely, definitely apply.